Right now, with cases of monkeypox rising across the country, health officials worry it may already be too late to get a handle on its spread. And jurors will soon decide whether the man who admitted to one of the deadliest school shootings in history will get the death penalty. Welcome to News 3 Now at Noon, everyone. I'm Chris Stanford, in for Mark Kane. We have a week of heat and humidity in store, so let's get right to the Weather Center, where Julian Seawright has a look at your certified most accurate forecast. Hey there, Julian. Yep, that's right. We're going to be talking about the heat and humidity because as we see from our surface map as of right now, that high pressure system is going to keep any of that cool air from the northwest really out of here because we're going to be seeing plenty of that southwesterly flow stick around throughout much of today, which is going to be pushing things into feeling like it's into the 90s throughout the course of the day. Now, taking a look here currently in Madison, 84 degrees as of right now. Dew points are at 62 degrees for us, but temperatures into the Midwest in itself, well, we're already seeing 80s as we're kicking off our noon hour. So just know lunchtime is going to be quite hot, especially for our friends out there into Minnesota. Now, our dew points are a bit more muggier to our southwest as Platteville is looking at tropical type of weather for us in terms of our dew points. In the 70s, well, that means it feels like it's a Florida over for southern areas of uh, Wisconsin for us. But as we go in throughout the rest of the day, we're going to see that heat index really start to push into the lower 90s and maybe even a little higher as we get into the rest of our evening as well. So planning out today, well, it's going to be sunny and it's going to be warm. It won't be overly muggy, but definitely still going to be hot enough to make you want to limit your time outside. We'll take a look at what else to expect coming up in a few moments, Chris. Until then, let's toss it back to you. All right, Julian, thank you very much. New at noon, we now know the identity of the man killed when he was hit by a car while riding his bike in Sauk County last week. The Sauk County Sheriff's Office says 65-year-old David Curto of rural Merrimack died after being hit by a car last Thursday. He was riding along State Highway 78 when authorities believe he lost control and veered into the westbound lane of the highway before being hit. He died at the scene. The Sauk County Sheriff's Office says the incident is still under investigation. Families who lost loved ones in the Uvalde school massacre met this weekend with members of the Texas House Committee investigating the incident. The committee's 77-page report places some of the blame on several levels of law enforcement for their failure to act. Surveillance video from inside Robb Elementary shows officers waiting 77 minutes before moving in and taking out the shooter on May 24th. The new report finds there were 376 officers on scene, but the group lacked clear leadership and basic communications prioritizing their own safety. Several officers in the hallway or in that building knew or should have known there was dying in that classroom and they should have done more, acted with urgency, tried the door handles, tried to go in through the windows, tried to distract him. The report also said the gunman fired about 100 rounds in the first three minutes, so it's likely many victims died quickly. But the report suggests some could have survived if they had not waited so long to be rescued. So far, much of the blame has been put on Uvalde School Police Chief Pete Arandondo for his role as incident commander. Investigators suggest there were plenty of better trained and better equipped officers who could have and should have stepped up. More than four years after he killed 14 students and three staff members, the gunman in the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School mass shooting will learn his fate today. The penalty trial for 23-year-old Nicholas Cruz began this morning in Florida. Last year, he pleaded guilty to 17 counts of first-degree murder for the shooting. That means he is only contesting his sentencing this week. About 50 family members of victims were in the courtroom this morning as opening statements began. Jurors will decide whether he gets the death penalty or life without parole. Meanwhile, three people were killed and two more hurt when a gunman opened fire at a food court in an Indiana mall last night. The two hurt include a 12-year-old girl. Both are expected to survive. Police say that the man entered the mall with a rifle and several rounds of ammunition and was able to shoot several people before another armed man in the food court shot and killed him. Authorities are expected to release more details about that shooting today. The CDC says monkeypox cases in the U.S. are once again rising, including here in Wisconsin. Top health officials say the outbreak needs to be taken more seriously. Worldwide, confirmed cases have now surpassed 12,000, but officials say the real numbers are likely much higher. Right now, the CDC says there are more than 1,800 confirmed cases in the U.S., including here in Wisconsin. Health officials are warning the window to contain the virus may already be closed.
made a lot of the same mistakes that we made with COVID with this, having a very narrow case definition, not having enough testing. And while it's not going to explode because it's harder for this virus to spread, it's probably going to be persistent. You'll, you'll have this as a sort of a fact of life. Health officials say up to 700,000 vaccines will be distributed to communities by the end of July. In Wisconsin, there are currently six presumed cases across the state. At least two of those are confirmed in Dane County. Testing around time, testing turnaround time here is typically less than 24 hours on weekdays. Experts here say the risk of catching it is still quite low. More news to come here on News 3 Now at noon, including today's top business headlines, plus how some students in libraries are fighting back against a record number of complaints looking to ban books. That's coming up next. Attention homeowners, we're looking for 50 homeowners who need new windows. We want to take out your old windows and install new Eco Sky windows featuring Sky Mirror technology. Call Mad City Windows now, Wisconsin's number one remodeler and trusted local source for Eco Sky windows, specially engineered to give your home an energy upgrade. Why don't you act now to be one of 50 homeowners who receive special savings with free installation on a house full of new windows. 18 months, no interest, no payments. Senior military discounts will take before and after pictures and compensate you for your time. Call during this program and receive a free $50 Amazon gift card with your free and home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call now with zip code and location to qualify 608-338-1616. That's 608-338-1616. Do you suffer from chronic or severe back or neck pain? Did you know that there is now a treatment method available right here at Midwest Spine and Nerve Center that offers hope of avoiding spinal surgery for those suffering with bulging, herniated, or degenerative discs? Our therapies help reduce pain related to these conditions and have a high success rate in helping people just like you avoid back or neck surgery. I have experienced low back pain for over 15 years. I had back surgery when I was 26 and had difficulties recovering. The doctors at Midwest Spine and Nerve Center have given me a new lease on life. I am now able to enjoy an active, pain-free lifestyle. Call Midwest Spine and Nerve Center now to schedule a no-obligation consultation to see if our progressive pain-relieving therapies are right for you. Have you ever experienced this view? Hi, Andrew Larson here. With gutter shutter, you'll never have to experience it again. Please give up this dangerous chore and protect your home's foundation with gutter shutter, the strongest, most durable, maintenance-free gutter on the market. Over the past 15 years, my team has installed thousands of maintenance-free gutter systems across South Central Wisconsin. We'd love to come out and show you what gutter shutter can do for you and your home, but most importantly, keep you safe and off that ladder. So call today for a free estimate. Interest rates in response to inflation are driving the U.S. dollar's value higher. That's expected to drive down the cost of some imported goods while making it cheaper for Americans to travel overseas. The flip side is that a stronger dollar is likely to make U.S. products more expensive to international buyers, which would likely lead to diminished sales. Gas prices have pulled back from the record highs that were set in mid-June. AAA says the average cost of regular grade gasoline was $4.53 a gallon on Sunday, a 48-cent decline since June 14th. However, oil market analysts told the Washington Post we could see another spike in fuel prices in the fall. 
tied to new sanctions on Russia over its war in Ukraine. SpaceX is celebrating another successful launch of its Falcon 9 rocket. It blasted off yesterday from Florida's Cape Canaveral. Its payload included 53 Starlink satellites, which are used to provide wireless internet access. The launch was the 31st of the year for SpaceX. The next one is scheduled to take place on Thursday. That is your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. At the noon hour, the Dow, NASDAQ, S&P all off to a pretty good start to the week, gaining so far today. The practice of banning books from school libraries is growing across the country, but some students in libraries are now fighting back. The American Library Association says it tracked nearly 1,600 book challenges or removals last year. That's the most they've ever recorded. It comes as parents take their objections to school boards and town hall meetings, demanding schools pull books discussing race, sex, and gender identity. But some students in libraries say those topics shouldn't be off limits to students who are forming their own ideas. I think listening to these different perspectives is vital in becoming an adult and having these uncom uncomfortable conversations are really important so you can critically think about your own beliefs. The Brooklyn Public Library just announced it's allowing readers nationwide between the ages of 13 and 21 to access digital versions of their books for free. They're calling it Books Unbanned. Taking a look outside here at 1209 in the afternoon, it is going to be a hot and sunny one. The first of many in our forecast this week. Julian Seawright will tell us just how long the heat wait will last. Just ahead. Are you ready to make junk disappear? I've never been more ready in my life. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. <laughs> oh. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. We'll be there before you hang up the phone. How will you stay cool this summer? Don't be like this guy. Call Mad City Windows for new Eco Sky Windows. Eliminate uncomfortable hot spots and reduce harmful UV rays. You know you can count on Mad City Windows. Everything happened on as they said it would. The work was done exactly the way that they indicated it would be, and the final product looked exactly how they promised it would. Now listen to this. 50 homeowners who need new windows will save with free installation on a house full of new windows. 18 months, no interest, no payments. Senior and military discounts. And we're going to compensate you for your time. What are you waiting for? Call now during this program and receive a free $50 Amazon gift card with your in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call now with zip code and location to qualify, 608-338-1616. That's 608-338-1616. $5,000 a year. That's the burden of Joe Biden's inflation tax on Wisconsin families. They can't afford it. From the grocery store to the gas station, we're all paying the price for Biden's massive deficit spending. Ron Johnson has the courage to say no to spending that is mortgaging our children's future. And his small business tax cuts help them compete and survive the pandemic. I'm Ron Johnson and I approve this message. Are you ready to make junk disappear? I've never been more ready in my life. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. We'll be there before you hang up the phone. As financial markets dive. State of the economy right now is... Uh... College savings accounts are taking big hits. Chris Stanford talks with financial experts for valuable advice on saving for college during these uncertain times. Eye on Education, tonight at 10. A partnership in the 608 is using art to teach us how to protect our lakes, rivers, and streams. Tomorrow, Josh Breider talks to the brains behind the Storm Drain Mural Program. Is there relief in sight from all the heat? The answer tomorrow morning from 4.30 to 7. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. 
Let's check in now with Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report. I am a lucky guy today, Pam. Getting to talk to you twice. <laughs> I was going to say, you're going to hear my stories twice, Chris, because... Uh, Better the second time, I bet. We're, I hope so. <laughs> we're kind of watching the markets today. They're warming up just about like our weather is, so that's something you'll notice when we get to the numbers in just a moment here. I want to thank everybody that showed up over the weekend in support of all of our county fair activities. I myself got a chance to spend time up at the Sauk County Fair in Baraboo, where they had a wonderful turnout for basically everything. Thing, grandstand events, all the exhibiting uh, that was going on, the judging, and also the livestock auction that took place on Saturday. Thank you so much to the Sauk County Fair and Alexa, their fairest of the fair, for presenting me with a beautiful ribbon that I'm very proud of and displaying here in the office. You can see it. Fabulous Farm Babe on Facebook. One thing that I thought was very interesting, to give you a sense of how much the community is supporting those youth and that county fair activity, uh, two chickens, two simple white nothing special chickens sold for two thousand dollars during the uh, livestock auction on saturday uh, people are going to say well now wait a minute who's crazy enough to spend that much money on two chickens well remember folks it's not about the value necessarily it's about supporting youth and all the great improvements that have been going on at the Sauk county fair so thank you again for inviting me in now this afternoon we're going to get our latest uh, planting progress report crop progress update i think we're going to see a lot of farmers start turning their attention to winter wheat and harvesting just remember uh, Dr. John Schutzke, uh, who is our farm safety specialist in extension, just reminding folks, uh, be a little proactive with that equipment that might have been sitting, your combine, even your tractors. Uh, try to make sure that that's cleaned off a little bit. We get that uh, very, very volatile wheat chaff that can end up on that equipment, and it can actually start a fire in the engine or in the field. So let's try to clean it up maybe before you get started. Barrel cheese today in Chicago up three at 210. 40 pound block cheese down to 197 and a half. Double A butter finished three and a half cents higher, 296 and a half per pound. So there we go. Off and running on another busy week. Looking forward to the Green County. Dane County and Fond du Lac County Fairs. Oh, yeah, it's that time of year. This week. That yeah. time of year. Hey, can we see that ribbon again? You, you know I'm hanging on to it. Of course. It's the prettiest ribbon farm babes ever got. All the rest of mine were pink. Well so deserved. This is dandy. Well deserved. <laughs> Pam, always good to talk to you. See you tomorrow morning. See you tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. All right, let's uh, check in with Julian see right now with the certified most accurate forecast. Hey there, Julian. And it is going to be a warm and muggy one. Not overly muggy, but still, it's definitely going to be felt throughout the course of today. It's 84 degrees as of right now here in Madison, and temperatures will good to gradually warm up a bit more as we head into the later part of this afternoon, as we'll be into those upper 80s, and dew points will also climb with it. So if you have some free time this afternoon or evening to get to it, definitely take a splash into a pool. It's definitely going to be a reward for you just being able to get through some of this heat that we're going to be dealing with. And today is just the start of the wave that we're going to be seeing. Lots of dry conditions, and that's what we're going to be expecting, is blue skies are clear ahead as we head in throughout the next couple of days. However, for tomorrow, well, though we're not looking at us to see significant chance of seeing storms, our friends just to the north and central Wisconsin do have a slight risk for any storms to start to fire off that could be strong or even severe. And yes, Dane County is also into this in parts of southern Wisconsin. And we are looking at marginal risk, even though it's not very likely just because of the setup and the stuff that we're looking at. The cold front that's going to be sweeping through that tries to uh, activate anything or act as a catalyst for to see some storms is just not going to be strong enough for us to really start to see much of a widespread event. But outside of that, this high pressure system, which is settled into the Midwest in itself, is going to keep things rather dry and definitely going to funnel in those southerly winds for us, which is why we are going to see more warmth throughout today and even going into our Tuesday. Now, good news is not a lot of clouds. Going to see plenty of blue skies and even some starry nights for us. As we transition into our Tuesday morning, it's going to be mild once again. Starting off with a beautiful sunrise, but temperatures will already be in the 70s as you're heading out the door. And by the time we get into our lunchtime hour, we'll start to see those mid to upper 80s rolling their way in. And some of us could even see those low 90s by the time we get into our Tuesday evening. Once we see that cold front pass through, again, it's going to be rather weak, so we're only going to see temperatures drop just a bit, but as we get into our Wednesday, another mild one is going to be in store as we get our morning commute rolling for us. Outside of that, folks, we got to beat the heat. 
So here's a few helpful tips just to help you navigate throughout the rest of this week for us. Wear light clothing, find your cool spots, and of course, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate is definitely the biggest thing for us. Now, outside of that, the three things you're going to need to know is that this week is rather smooth, but it's also going to be rather hot. Humid conditions are going to stick around until we get closer to Friday, and on top of that, hot temperatures as we roll into Tuesday around the 90s, but outside of that, we're not looking at much in terms of our rain chances throughout the course of this week. Now, here's a look at our 10-day forecast for us. Again, we're not looking at much in terms of rain until we get into about Saturday and Sunday. We could see a quick little system start to roll its way in. It could bring in a chance of some rain or thunderstorms for our weekend, but overall, we're still going to stay on the dry and sunny side throughout much of this week. And that heat wave in itself won't really start to break until we get into next week, Chris. But outside of that, we're going to be seeing temperatures hold on to the heat throughout the next couple of days. We just need to stay hydrated and limit time outside. Yeah, you said it. Thanks, Julian. Yeah. Coming up next, Howard's in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen with a new deli salad that's perfect for the summer. With all the summertime cookouts, backyard bashes, and family get-togethers, deli salads are always on the top of the what-to-serve list. But even the best of them can get pretty boring after a while, so we came up with one that is a cross between the best macaroni salad and a fill-you-up cob salad. We start by cooking some elbow macaroni like usual and draining them really well. While it cools, we cut up a couple of hard-boiled eggs because no cob salad is complete without them. Now, to the pasta, we add diced deli ham, a bit of cheddar cheese, along with some cut-up red pepper, celery, avocado, and a bit of crumbled bacon. This gets combined with the dressing we made by mixing together some mayo with a splash of vinegar, a little sugar, and a touch of salt. Garnish this with the hard-boiled eggs and more crumbled bacon, and it's ready to serve. And unlike most pasta salads, this is hearty enough to be a meal in itself. I really do hope you'll go online and get the recipe for what we call Cobb Macaroni Salad, so you can serve it at your next shindig. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a mm -hmm. tasty new way mm. for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm. Hey, you stole my fork. <laughs> Ahead at noon, Lisa Briggs from The Bruce Company is here answering your plant and garden questions. The number to call is 608-270-9933. We'll be right back. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Attention homeowners, we're looking for 50 homeowners who need new windows. We want to take out your old windows and install new Eco Sky windows. With Sky Mirror technology and built-in weather barriers that keep the heat out this summer. Be sure to ask about grid designs inside the glass for easy window cleaning. Several styles and colors to choose from. Give your home an energy upgrade. Don't miss out. 50 homeowners who call now will receive special savings with free installation on a house full of new windows. 18 months, no interest, no payments. Senior and military discounts. We'll take before and after pictures and compensate you for your time. Last chance to call in during this program to get the $50 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call now with zip code and location to qualify, 608-338-1616. That's 608-338-1616. I'm Tim Michaels. Commanding the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier was an honor beyond measure. America is a miracle of countless sacrifices from unknown patriots. Honoring that is our duty. But today, America is under attack by radicals trying to tear down everything that makes America great. This is a fight we cannot lose. I'm Tim Michaels. I'm running for governor to help save the America that those before saved for us. 
It's Make My Mondays at hy V. This Monday, get hy V whole chicken, only 79 cents a pound. hy V pasta, only 77 cents. Whole seedless watermelon, only 388. And Frito Lay Santitas, only 99 cents. Monday only. And save even more during Red, White, and Fuel. Right now, save up to $7.83 per gallon with your hy V Fuel Saver Plus Perks card. And visit hy V Deals.com for even more deals. You experience so many moments in your home, and Kitta helps you protect every moment. Materials in today's homes cause fires to burn faster, leaving you as little as two minutes to get to safety. So check your smoke and carbon monoxide alarms and replace them if necessary. Ensure that you have the right equipment for all areas of your home. Right now, get 11% off all Kitta home safety products at Menards. Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company is here to answer your plant and garden questions. Uh, the number to call is 608-270-9933. Uh, what have you brought for us today, Lisa? So today I brought a zinnia. This is one of my favorite annuals because it will bloom all summer long, loves the heat. Um, the only sometimes it gets a little powdery mildew, but not if you keep it in a full sun spot. And the way it blooms all summer is when these flowers finish up, if you cut them back to just where this next pair of leaves are, you'll get another bud, two buds that come out and will flower again. And it'll just keep doing that? It'll just keep doing it. As long as you remove these when they're finished up, when they start looking kind of mingy, it'll keep flowering all summer. It just keeps on giving. Yeah. It's and I love all these colors. Nice, bright and colorful. Yes, are yeah. most cities like that? Yes. And it's good because... People are want you know looking for mums that kind of cushiony sort of thing you know pillow of blooms. Mm -hmm. Mums aren't quite ready yet. Won't be probably for another eight to ten weeks. But zinnias will fill in the gap. All right, uh, time to take our first call. Uh, caller, you're on the air. What's your question for Lisa? My first time with the phone switcher. <laughs> and I am not help. Much help. <laughs> I think I but there's some it. green ones there. <laughs> how about how about this? Caller, uh, you're on the air. Uh, what's your question for Lisa? Hi. Um, I have hostas that are eating. I mean, rabbits that are eating my hosta. And I was wondering if there's something that can be done about it. Sure. You want to use a repellent, and I have had really good luck with. Um, freeze-dried predator urine so there's one called shake away that's that's fox urine and you just sprinkle it around your hostas and the smell of it will help keep the bunnies away there you go freeze-dried right. and, and I can get, yes and I can get that at the Bruce company yes you can okay thank you you're welcome yeah, I know I, it sounds gross but it's amazing <laughs> I bet it works <laughs> it's really it's really so, something that crazy it's got to work right <laughs> I just like saying it <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, caller, you're on the air. Do uh, you have a question for Lisa? Uh, yes, I have uh, red raspberries, ever-bearing red raspberries, and I'm finding some of the branches are dying out even though I water them every night, and I'm wondering why are they dying out? Well, watering every night is probably a little bit excessive. A good soak once a week is adequate, but you might have cane borer, which is a little worm that is in the inside of the cane. So the ones that are, that are dying back, when you go and prune those out, check on the bottom, and if you see it's hollowed out and there's a little worm in there, you have a cane borer. I'm not exactly sure. There's not a lot you can do about it because anything systemic will, of course, get into the fruit so you won't be able to eat it. But send, a, send an email to the plant desk, uh, plantdesk at brucecompany.com, and I will get a solution for you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yep, bye. Right. We'll take one more call. Marcia from Columbus, you're on the air. You have a question for Lisa? I do. We have a little Kim lilac bush, and it's in a flower bed, but it's starting to overtake. And I, I try to trim it back, but we were thinking we would like to cut it off severely, and we're wondering if that's going to kill the plant if we cut it back, you know, back down to the nub. Well, I wouldn't take it back down to the nub. You might want to take it maybe 30 to 40 percent. You're going to not get flowers for a couple years, but it'll grow through that. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, and if you're still on the line. Stay there. Lisa will take your call. I will. After the show's over. Let's get a final check of that forecast. Julian Searide here. Hey, Julian. 
Well, we're going to be expecting things to be hot and muggy throughout much of this week. But the good news is, folks, it will start to break by the time we get into next week. But until then, make sure that you're limiting your time outdoors and that you are staying cool and also hydrated. Over to you, Chris. Thanks, Julian. Thanks for watching News 3 Now at noon, everyone. Have a great day and join uh, everyone tomorrow morning for News 3 Now this morning. See you then.